So we're going to discuss seven aspects of this theology of science, and it's linked to the biblical tradition. So the first is that the theology of science as the inheritor of wisdom has a long human history. It tells us that, if you like, the human activity we call science, um, although in its current form is new, is, if you like, the current chapter of a book that humanity has been writing for many centuries. Secondly, that science has a deep human aptitude. Humans are made extraordinarily to understand the world. Thirdly, that there's a sort of dual structure to science um, that, we, that is reflected in our discussions of pure and applied, science and engineering, uh, theory and experiment. Um, but those, that duality can often be very divisive. It shouldn't be. Um, and at, at the biblical level, the duality is that of wisdom and knowledge. Fourthly, there isn't a single point in Scripture where our relationship with the natural world is mentioned without a context of pain and suffering and ordeal. The ambiguity and pain in doing science is a surprising but a continuous thread. Fifthly and related to that is a balance in our understanding of nature of order and chaos. It appears in the modern science of statistical mechanics and thermodynamics and nonlinear chaos theory, uh, but the tension of order and chaos is right there through the biblical tradition too. Then we're going to explore the centrality of the question. Questions are, again, perhaps surprisingly, um, held in very high regard in biblical wisdom, and without questions we couldn't do science today. And finally, and perhaps most surprisingly of all, one cannot escape, and would one want to escape, an exploration of the role of love in the theology of science.